Heritage Knives sent me a copy of their newest tracker. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at that tracker knife. Stick around, my friend. My tracker knife reviews are really starting to pile up on this channel, but you know, I don't mind that a bit. I love these knives. I'm very intrigued by them. I love getting the opportunity to take a look at all different types, whether it's the high end or whether it's budget. People can afford different things and they need different things at different times for different purposes. So I like to put a lot of different trackers on display. I think this one looks pretty nice and it's got some pretty good attributes. I find this tracker knife quite beautiful. I love the the design of that micarta handle. I think that's a beautiful color pattern. This is a Damascus steel. Now on Amazon, it says it's a combination of 1095 and 15N20 steels. Your blade and your handle are very evenly proportioned. You got five inches here on the blade and five inches on the handle. Here's your saw on the back for your notching. We're gonna be doing some testing just to see how well that cuts in. Looking at around four millimeters thick, it doesn't give me the exact, but that's about four millimeters there. I wanna put these scales in the light just so you can see those subtle finger grooves. I think that's a really nice design, actually. It's very comfortable. You've got the jimping here at the top of the handle, which creeps out onto the blade, which that's gonna be your fire striker right there. This comes with a very durable leather sheath. It's a little bit obstinate even. It's really tight. The materials are real tight. You'll have to kind of pull on this and stretch it out a little bit because at first it didn't want to button, but you've got this compartment here to put a little sharpness stone or just some other survival gear, but I want to show you the back of this. If you carry this across the back, it's a left-handed scout carry, but you can also carry it along your right side. If you set it sideways like this, you can also turn it upright and use this loop for upright carry on your right side. Let's give this a shave test. So there you go. I hope you can see that. So yes, this did come shave sharp. And it also comes very oiled up. You have to take it out of some plastic wrap. The blade is pretty oily when you get it, but that's pretty normal for the most part. I want to talk about some of the attributes of this knife, things that I at least consider attributes. Number one, trackers come in different sizes. You can get them big, you can get them small. Somebody who's looking for a smaller tracker to get in and do some more up close work with may find this one rather useful this is still a good size knife but compared to some trackers it's pretty small and you're able to get in tight and do some up close work with this this actually comes with a very sharp hook right here now i like a little more hook than this but this one comes very sharp this hook is just as sharp as the rest of the blade so i like that consistency these hooks if they're good and sharp are excellent for skinning and also for getting in the curve and just carving. If you just wanted to get some little shavings, you can get right in that curve and do just that. This of course is your slicing edge. You know, you're just doing slice work. This is what you're gonna wanna work with. I don't see this having a ton of edge retention, but I also see you being able to sharpen it pretty quick. And this part of the tracker is very easy to sharpen. It obviously gets a little more difficult through here. Uh, what I tend to do with my curves a lot of times is I'll get a file sharpener and get down in that groove. Uh, with this section right here, it's it's I can't just necessarily drag it across a whetstone, but I can take a, a thin whetstone and lay it flat against the grind and then go up and down that part. Let me kind of show you. Go up and down this way with a, a slim sharpener. You can keep this part sharp. Now, this is already very sharp uh, out of the box, but you know when you're doing sharpening with a a wet stone, you just want to lay it flat against the stone and then you want to close that gap. You want to close it right down because see, if you lay it flat on a stone, you'll have an opening like that. You want to lay it flat, just right against that grind and then that's where you want to work. But this is easy. This is an easy part for the wet stone file sharpener here and you can use a, a slim wet stone right here going up and down this way. That's just how I do it. Trackers make good choppers. And this one's kind of small, so I don't consider this to be a, a heavy duty chopping tracker, but you can grip down on this corner just like that to get a good swing. If something's not too big, you can take it pretty easily. If you want to baton a piece of wood, I like to use this part and hit right here.
I won't make you sit through an entire batoning of a piece of wood like that, but I do want to point something out. I did quite a bit of beating on the back of this thing with that hard stick, and there's no damage to the steel here. Now, the reason why I point this out is because a lot of budget knives that I test, it don't take a whole lot of batoning before I already see dents in the blade where I'm batoning, and there's no damage to this, so I think that's pretty good. Let's look at some notching with this saw on the back. It doesn't look like it's going to do well. It's kind of thin. I'd rather see wide, sharp teeth, but let's see here. <laughs> yeah, this isn't doing much of anything. Yeah, these things, you might be able to, you know, get a snip on certain things here and there, some string or something probably, but you're not getting much traction at all on this. So, no, not a good notching saw at all. Trackers are also incredibly fun to throw, but I'm not going to scratch up these beautiful micara scales. So I'm going to take some hockey tape and wrap this so that I can protect this beautiful handle. Nothing wrong with doing this. In fact, I think if you have a knife with scales, especially beautiful scales like this, tape it up a couple of times. You can throw it all you want to. This thing is absolutely full tang. It's going to be able to handle it just like all my other tracker knives. Let's have some fun. Before I throw, the cool thing about hockey tape is it won't leave a residue. You can take it right off. I love throwing these things. This throws great. It's got a great balance to it. It's not the heaviest tracker that I've ever thrown, but it's still got a great weight to it. I'm gonna do one more of my favorite kinds of throw, which is a hammer grip no spin. I am one who believes that the tracker knife also makes a great combat a great fighting knife. When I get out and do combat style throwing where I'm throwing a heavy blade that can really do some hard hitting and penetrating, these trackers are among some of the best. They're just very balanced in throwing. We can't draw a lot of our information from the movies, but we can draw a fair amount of it, especially if something is demonstrated on a decent level. You see a lot of knife fighting with the tracker in The Hunted. You see a very good fight scene in the movie Headshot with a tracker. If you haven't seen the movie Headshot, that's got some crazy good choreography, especially the fight scene on the beach where the woman is using a tracker knife. This is a subtle tracker, and what I mean by that is it doesn't have a radical curve. It's got just enough curve there to be a tracker, but I think it looks really cool. Again, not a big fan of the saw on the back. I could do without that, but the way the knife feels in the hand when you're working with it and just the way it throws and I like the look of it. I'm really pleased with this particular tracker as far as a budget option. The tracker from Heritage Knives, ladies and gentlemen, for 30 some bucks, I think you get a good budget option here. If you're into Damascus steel, if you're into this style of blade, I think this works and performs very well. These scales look fabulous, very comfortable, very ergonomic, and a great budget option. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this tracker? And what is your favorite tracker to use out in the field? Thanks for watching. Take care.